hey guys welcome to the new video in this video we are going to explore uh, one of the features in backup and recovery which is called as Arman image copies so this is one of the backup strategy which you can make use of uh, in your production systems so this feature will help you to restore the production data as soon as possible in case of any disasters okay so Arman image copy is a byte by byte copy of your data files so if you check we are a data file you can see i have five data files in c drive so arman image copy is nothing but the exact replica of these data files in another location so in case of a disaster say you lost the drive then uh, you can sw simply switch over to your backup location so in case of c uh, if your data files are present in c drive you can switch to d drive or e drive uh, uh, like i sh uh, like i will show you in this example okay so to demonstrate uh, the arman image copy since uh, my database uh, is in no archive log mode i have to take backup in mount state so that's the only change you'll see okay and to demonstrate you uh, i have created a table in test table space okay which is in data file five number five so if i do describe test image copy select count from test image copy okay there are a thousand rows and you can see dba extends select segment name file hash that is file id from v dollar data file where segment name equal to test image copy okay sorry i have i need to check db extends okay file id is file file okay you can check which is the corresponding name here so select name from wheel or table space where table space number equal to five okay this is test table space and name from v dollar data file where ts hash equal to five okay so what we are going to do is first take up the arman image copy to different drive and then we are going to delete this uh, data file okay and then we will restore as soon as possible in this video okay so select open mode from v dollar database so like i said earlier in case you have uh, archive log enabled you can take the backup that is arman backup in open uh, read write mode itself since i am in no archive log mode i have to start the database in mount state startup ports mount Okay, clear, R1 target slash, list backup, there are no backup, so backup as copy, this is how you take the image copy of your database, backup as copy database, format, you take in E, Want to backup and let it all be unique. Okay, 
so we have to first recover the database you can see uh, so rman internally it's just doing the cp command okay but we should run uh, make sure like uh, even though it is just a copy uh, byte by byte you shouldn't do cp to like cpc uh, drive to d drive because rman will not know the image copy location so that's why you have to execute this command from rman repository okay using rman so the data file copy is being processed here Okay, backup is completed. So uh, I am in my data file location, the current uh, data file location, and uh, this is my test DBF, where you will see the data for the test image copy table. Now what we are going to do is uh, let's corrupt this data file. So. You can see these are my data line number so here let's make it 100,000 instead of 722 I am making it as 1,722 okay and I am going to save it and let's delete it 698 okay So looks like I have corrupted it okay now you can see the change here now uh, let's start the database so as you can see data file file okay cannot identify file mm -hmm. right so since I have corrupted it it says cannot identify or log data file so even if I do alter database open its uh, same case cannot identify okay now this is where the rman image copy comes into rescue okay so since we are not able to access this data file because of corruption or any other case your next step should be log into rman list copy of data file file okay now here switch data file file to copy Got it. So one of them uh, is expired. I think uh, based on key, list expired, or it may be like I have taken a couple of times. So let's go here. Yeah, there are like backups of this anyway so we have switched uh, the data file here and then do recover database okay now let's go here select open mode from v dollar database Let's open. OK. 
okay now next step is select name name from v dollar data file what you are going to see here is there will be four data files in the c drive and one data file will be in the e drive which is copy okay you can see that now again select since we had corrupted the 722 uh, file number we can query that select test from test image copy where id between 720 and 725 okay so all the data is present and there were 1000 rows select count from test image copy so there are again 1000 rows okay so this is how you use the rman image copy feature